recording on this computer and now we'll do a Q and A. All right. You hear me? I can brother. Welcome back. Hey brother. All right. Today's you might have to talk a little bit. I'm winded as hell. <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's, you got any questions? Today's pretty relatively pretty slow. These stocks have been grinding, man. Take a look at FSR, MVIS. Let me type this out. F S R M V I S. I'll, I'll bring them up too in, in a big form. B T. I'm not missing anything here. T Y H T. Look, look, look at this. This is what happens when strong yeah, stocks wrong. grind up and then you start shorting and shorting. You're adding, adding. You're going you're gonna to blow up, man. So this is why I screamed a lot about not breaking rules. Uh, midday is very dangerous to short a stock that's strong, especially the slow markets. The best way to take a look at who is trapped is to take a look at the VWAP and see the deviation from VWAP. We have videos on this. I talk about this in detail every single week. So uh, any questions, guys? Wow, Bao, do you remember this company, bro? This is Fisker Karma, the electric cars that were some of the most sexiest cars on the planet before Tesla was banging, dude. Fisker. <laughs> bro, this, I'll pull this up. Guys, you should know what you're shorting, dude. This is Fisker Karma. Look at this shit, dude. I remember these cars. Bro, I, I remember being like 14 years old, being like, I want one of these $100,000 electric cars. Yeah, Justin Bieber had one of those. Yeah, he did. It was chromed out. Yeah, that's right. I, I remember that. Bro, these were, these were so much better looking than Teslas and still are. But apparently the company, I remember back in the day, the company had like explosive batteries that weren't waterproof. Like Tesla, you can drive in the rain. If it like rained or something, dude, some of these cars like blew the fuck up, dude. <laughs> like it was crazy. But that's, yep. yep they're that, still, that they're still blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need to know what you're getting in, man. When you see a big symbol like this, maybe look up the company so you don't get death grinded. Yep. But this is why we have the rules, guys. This is why I keep streaming on these members. Like, you know what? What are you doing? You're breaking rules. You're shorting shit that's strong. Even I lose, man. I get, the problem is when you get bored, man, you're looking for a trade and you're going to go find a trade. Dude, fifth, FSR market cap, $3.9 so It's, it's huge, small, dude. It's huge. Not a small cap, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you're telling me. Look at these things. These are sexy as hell. I saw one of these driving the other day. I was like, you got to be kidding me. Who still has these things? How did they last? Guys, get your questions in. Who's got questions? This is your time to educate, to learn. Eliminate your ego. Don't be shy. Reach out, man. You got me, Bao. You got a bunch of moderators. Reach out if you have questions. Well, there's a question about win rate. You can, you can do the math, man. This is high school arithmetic. <laughs> or is it or are you just asking to ask yeah Bell, we talk about this a lot man because the th th this goes uh, directly in line with risk management guys you have to understand a 99 percent win rate doesn't mean jack shit if you blow up on the on that one percent that gets you once a month it does not matter if you're not using hard stops right dude all you need is a 51% win rate, right, Val? Like, I think they said 51%, but your wins need to just be more than your losses, and you need to cap your losses with hard stops, bro. It just takes you, winning. You, you, you guys can do a basic arithmetic, do the math, set up a $1,000 account, $10,000 account, do that. Dude, seriously. I mean, dude, the, the, these, these are academic questions where are theoretical guys. I mean, fuck, you're not going to sit down and figure out all this unless you plan your trade. There's many different ways to trade, okay? The way that I trade is called line to line, which is a support line or resistant line to resistance line. Okay, there's another way to trade, which is based upon risk reward ratio, which we don't talk about often, but it's a mathematics. So you can create an entry and exit. You can, you can then put your stop at a risk factor and then figure that out. So, I mean, it, this is all theoretical, theoreticals, mathematics. So, I mean, you figure out what best style that you do and you analyze your trades. So, I mean, so I don't understand the question that the question is, you know, which is more five times two or five times or two times four. Right? I mean, you know, you kind of figure that out. So um, how do I be more patient with my learning process? I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, these psychological questions there i mean you know the answer guys take a look in the mirror sit down tonight go take a look in the mirror ask yourself these questions 
you want basically when I ever whenever I hear whenever I hear a psychological questions, I know what you're trying to do. You are trying to for me to excuse your bad habit. For me to say, oh, it's okay. Everybody does this. Everyone fucks up. Everyone yeah. fucks up. No, dude. No, not everyone. Just you. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I mean, when I hear these psychological, you know the answer, guys. It's, it's <laughs> rhetorical, meaning you know the answer. It just can't. So I tell everybody this, man. The secret to training is not being the smartest guy in the room. The secret to training is being the most disciplined guy in the room. Alex fucking left. He fucking made eight hundred dollars, you know, and he fucking made more money than I did because I fucking stuck around. I turned my two thousand dollar loss into a two thousand dollar loser, right? Bro, about let's be honest, two thousand dollars is not fucking good enough for me, you know. Right, and, and dude, let's call that out for a second, right? How many more times would you rather have plus eight hundred than negative two k? Like it's it's dude, seriously. Correct. So I mean, so that's the answer, man. The answer is work on your. Discipline, guys. Yep. I keep telling you right now, work on your fucking discipline. If you cannot work on it, get a tab. That's why we have a bunch of ways to solve psychological problems, okay? The way you solve psychological problems is, ha is using a human solution. Human solution is the tab program. Trade, you know, you have to have someone. You cannot be trusted, dude. It's like when you go out of your fucking house, you have a curfew as a kid, you, you're going to break the fucking curfew unless... Your friend says, go the fuck home. Get the fuck home. That's your training accountability, buddy. He's going to stop you from doing dumbass shit that you should not be doing. Dude, very well said. Very well said. Guys, you have to remember, man, 99% win rate doesn't matter when that one outlier comes and wipes your butt, dude. I, I never brag about fucking win rate for a reason, dude. These guys brag about win rate, but that one loss that you do, you know, you see a $1.6 million loss. <laughs> well, well you, yeah, and, and you know why, about Because I lost dude, one day this month, and, you know, that one day could wipe out two years of work, right? Well, and, and the reason why guys obsess over it, you know, guys, you have to understand on Twitter is just kind of a very toxic cesspool of things because you don't know what is right. You don't know what is truthful. A guy can post, say a guy posts eight charts in a day, right? And, or I mean, he trades eight charts in a day and posts four winners. So it looks like he's got a hundred percent success rate, yet he's losing his fucking ass behind closed doors. Like this is why win rate is like so ambiguous. It doesn't matter, dude. There's a lot of people with a high win rate that are still freaking losing, dude. Like on a monetary sense. So you guys got, you guys got to find the process. <laughs> Nobody ever loses on Twitter. Well, that's been proven for many years. The, the high win rate is like a high p &L. It's sexy, right? To somebody who's uneducated. Oh my God, dude, he made $400,000 a day. That's sexy, right? To, to sheep, it's sexy to the uneducated. But dude, how much is he down? What's the stress level that came with that? What's like, what's behind closed doors? Like, is he actually killing it? Or, or does it just look like he's killing? You know what I mean? There's, there's all these factors in place. So at the end of the day, outside of win rate, man, dude, we're focused on process. We're post profitability. You know, a lot of the things in trading, man, and we rant on this all the time, dude. I learned this from Val freaking four years ago, man. Do you want to be right? Or do you want to be profitable, bro? Because there's a really big difference, man. <laughs> yep. You want to be right or you want to make money, man? I'd rather be rich and wrong, right? Uh, shit, yeah, dude. I don't care how unsexy it is. If I'm profitable, I'm profitable, man. I don't care about that 90% win rate. You can have that, bro, as long as I make money. Focus on trading your process well, guys. The key is this, man. Trading is about being consistent. It's about having a repeatable process that you do over and over. A one-off big win is not going to really help you in the long run unless you can replicate that big win. So work on the process. We have a process that we teach you. And what you do is you can use our process or you can create your own process based upon, based upon what? Winning strategies, proven winning strategies. So as a new trader, you don't know what works and what doesn't. That's why we, you join MIC. And so we teach you what works from our, uh, from our experience and what doesn't. And so I, we built around the proven strategies, a proven process. And so you re, I, we refine the process over and over for your own personality. You know, so yep. And the key I, is to find a winning process for yourself, guys. 
And Ashraf, don't 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 feel like we're we're coming at you uh, personally, man. When a question is asked, you know, we bring the passion, man. We bring the heat, but we're talking to everybody who's ever wondered this. So it's not just you, buddy. So anybody that asks a question, don't be shy if we come out a little right. aggressive. These, these are the questions that everybody right? asks, guys. These are nope. common questions that everybody asks. Exactly. We're trying to get the point across. Like we, dude, in fact, sometimes, man, when I get on a trader call with like a member at MIC, dude, sometimes it's not the nicest call. I'm like, dude, you're really fucking up here, man. Do you want to, do you want me to baby you and, and polish this shit? Or should we get better together? Like, let's break down why your chart sucks. Like sometimes, man, you got to throw the heat. Tough love, man. We're, we're educators, man. Look, we're, we're educators before your friends, but we're totally your friends right after, man. We're going to do exactly what you need. But at first, man, we are here to make our people profitable. There's no if, ands, or buts. We are totally a support system. We're your friends after. But, dude, we are here so you can make money. We are here so you can supplement your jobs that you don't like, that you don't want to go to, that you can one day replace if you wanted. Our literally sole purpose now is devoted to making you guys as profitable as we can and consistent through process. So if we have to hurt some feelings every now and then, sorry, guys. <laughs> it better you hurt your feelings or your bank account, right? Dude, yes, correct. And you know, man, look, there are some glass houses that, that crumble um, on even sometimes critique and, and that's where you just got to go, dude, I don't even think trading's for you, man, because dude, if you're, if you can't take criticism, right? Like I tell this to some people, I'm like, dude, you got to be able to take criticism, man. If you're wrong and you're seeking someone with the answers, bro, you got to actually close your mouth, open your ears and take it in. Like you got, you got to, you got to learn this stuff. So yeah, man, I'll, I'll tell you, dude, the, 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 that's why I, I just want people on YouTube or anybody who's looking at MIC to get a real feel for what we are, man. And what we are is, is a no bullshit community where we are all after the same thing, learning how to make money together, learning how to do something for the next 100 years or as long as you're alive, as long as the stock market's open and that's not going anywhere. It's the full economy. I'll get people that ask me, like, dude, what, like, is the stock market ever going to disappear? Like, what about the, is the S&P 500 going to go to zero? I go, bro, if the S&P goes to zero, the SPY goes to zero, you do realize there's not one company alive on the, on, in the economy or on the streets. The market ain't going nowhere, man. <laughs> so you can learn this shit and learn how to make money for the rest of your life. But you got to learn the right fundamentals in the beginning. You gotta learn process. You gotta learn risk management. Um, learn, you know, why you know win rate doesn't actually matter as opposed to X Y Z or A B C. Right? There's just so like we're passionate about this, man. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end the, on the win rate thing. You can do mathematics on the guys. It's all purely math, man. There's yeah. no question to ask. You you can do the math yourself. Um, the answer is the win rate wins because you know. Well, the win rate doesn't win because the other one's a four to one versus a one to one. For reward, sure, right? But that four to one, how often are you gonna make a fucking four to one trade, man? You know, especially in these markets, right? You know, you're you're lucky to get a one to one or two to one. I'm like, fuck, dude. Well, my win rate's ten percent, but my risk reward's a thousand to one. <laughs> yeah. Now, how are you gonna get a four to one on this, dude? <laughs> I know, but so that's the thing, man. So there's somewhere that is a balance between you never gonna fucking make a four to one trade versus one to one is too low, right? <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to being a trader, bro. <laughs> yeah. So so you, you have to find the balance, guys. You have to find the balance. So uh, so so the ghost guy, Ghostbuster guy here, he has a very good question. Where's that value? You see that on YouTube or I post, yeah, on YouTube. Okay. How do you? How do you learn how to have conviction in a trade? I can plot lines damn near perfect. It's just hitting the damn buyer short button. Uh, Bal, you want to go first? Yeah, the answer is this is what we call a, a fantasy order. You place the fucking limit order, dude. You put it in there. You don't, you don't react. This is where I hate hotkeys. If anybody asks me about fucking hockey, I'm going to scream at them. Oh, yeah. yeah. And this is your answer, man. The answer is place the fucking order in. What's the fucking problem? You place it in. When you are most clear headed, when you're not in the trade, when stock comes to your lines, you're going to be scared. No shit. You're scared because it's going to come too fast. But <laughs> if you place the order ahead of time, when you're clear headed, that's the price you want it at. And that's what we call it a fantasy order. I fantasize about that coming right there. Right. Well, it, when, it, it, when, it, so when it, the time it, comes, it's fucking your order's already in there. You're not going to get fucking scared. Well, it's like, 
It's like being naked for the chick to come in already, right? <laughs> yes. Versus you got your clothes on, the chick comes in, and you start to think, and you get sweaty, and then, you know. <laughs> yeah, dude, if, you, if, if Kate Upton's already naked in bed, and then you come in, and then you're, like, analyzing the situation, dude, and you're like, man, what if she thinks I have a small pee-pee, and then you start hitting your head, then you start, dude, you got to just be there naked, bro. <laughs> just do it. You got to be good to go, dude, man. You, it's like, you know, like, yeah, the best trades are the ones where you're most clear-headed, and you already thought of the trade. That's why we keep telling you, predefined your risk exactly what it is dude you predefine all this stuff ahead of time and before you get in the trade now what's that old saying dude is the trades already placed before you make the trade basically like it's all like the plan is already done dude you've either lost already or already it's like the art of war right the war has been won before the battle even begins right that's that's the that's the quote i was looking for yes exactly so, you know, guys, when it comes to fantasy orders, man, I'll give an example on day trading and I'll give an example on, on like swing trading, right? So like BBIG today, we actually wanted higher on this. I think me and Val were talking about like the 270s, 280s, but let's just say 260 is the line you wanted. Dude, you can already put fantasy orders because it's, of course you're scared, bro, but you're getting in at a good area where you go, this is the best chance I got. Dude, you think that like, a hybrid in investor slash day trader like me, who's like, okay, I want Netflix at 500. And then you get a big earnings tank and I'm scooping starters. You don't think I'm a little nervous? It just dropped a hundred points. I don't know if it'll go to 420, but a great investor gets excited because my levels are starting to get, dude, every time we're shitting our pants, but you got, you got to either pull the trigger man or not. And it's like what we talked about earlier is, is action and pulling the trigger is going to stem directly to the correlation of confidence that you have. If you're not confident, you'll never fucking place the trigger. You'll and never I'm gonna, I'm going to end the question with very simple, man. Pre-plan your trades. There's a saying that we always talk about, right? Plan your trades and trade your plan. Plan your trades and play, trade your plan. And the plan includes what? Where to enter, where to exit. Exit for both a yeah. winner and a loss. Too, too often, only people, people often only account for when they lose, but they never account for when they win. When are you going to take the money off? And so that's why they hold way too long. They turn a winner to a loser. So plan everything out before it comes there. So figure out every other option, all your plans before it gets there. Place your plan, execute your plan. Right? And then when you execute your plan, place on a limit order. And don't fucking use these hotkeys, dude. <laughs> of course, the goat doesn't shit her pants. <laughs> Tay's like, Tay never gets scared. She's got a steady hand, man. I'm telling well, you. Yeah, she's female. Don't wear pets. Dude, she's a rooting, tooting, gun shooting. Like, I'm telling you, man, I've met Tay, man. She's a different breed, bro. She is a different breed. But but confidence is will give you action. And if you're confident, and obviously that goes without saying, guys, if you're uneducated in trading, you don't even know what you're looking for to even form a plan, then I mean you're just you're just really behind the eight ball. This is why you need something like MIC. Hey, is right? City is City Ops? Are you in MIC? City Ops, are you in MIC? Sit Ops. Oh, A T H E. Let's take a look. Sit Tops. Sit Sit Tops. Are you in MIC? Oh man, man this is. I have no. That's, pilot, not, bro. that's not a death line setup, bro. Definitely <laughs> not. Definitely not. You have to learn what these terms are. A lot of people are mis misinterpreting what these terms are. They're seeing free YouTube videos and they think they can fucking get away with it. Join MIC, guys. If you're not MIC, join MIC. You you. I, I see guys like. Is this the first red day setup? I'm like, the doc is not even fucking red, bro. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm like, is this the first red? I'm like, dude, the name itself says red day. <laughs> first red day. <laughs> bro, we will not beat that comment today. That is the funniest shit I've heard all week. <laughs> you know, and so I'm thinking like, death line. This is, this is then fucking... The stock is only in the range of 10 cents, bro. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. You know, I mean, there's really no... The death line would be way under 135 if that's the case, you know? Guys, this is what you're calling a death line setup? You really want to, like... So, I, which leads me to believe that these guys are too cheap to join MIC. They're watching free videos. I think they can't go away with it. I mean, dude, MIC is so fucking cheap. I just don't get it. Hundred, like Less than 200 bucks, man, a month. You're losing more money today, I guarantee you, than 200 bucks. If you're losing more than 200 bucks today, you're asking that kind of question, you should be in MIC, dude, just for one fucking month, just so I don't have to fucking see you lose every day. 
Because what's going to happen is I guarantee you, this happens all the time, man. You're going to keep losing because you think it's some first red day setup and then you lose all your money. Then you're going to email me. You're going to ask me for a discount. I'm like, dude, what are you doing, man? I lost all my money, Val. You were right. I'm like, fuck, dude, no shit, right? <laughs> yeah, it, well, and then, and then, guys, it's like, look, we're not going to harp on this, but you have to understand how much it even cost to keep the lights on with a big business, something like that. Dude, like when you come ask for us a discount once you lost all your money, it's insulting, man. Like it's like, it's just insulting, bro. But anyway, so, I mean, that's my, that's, that's my rant, man. I, I could tell when someone's not studying, I can tell someone when's watching just free videos and only, yeah. seeing, only seeing the first eight minute trailer of it. Right? If, if we keep getting questions like this, not to single anybody out, we're going to, we're going to start deleting all the past Wednesday webinars that me and Bao do. Cause I know you guys are learning from this shit and you show up just at these to make sure that you can learn a little bit more. Like just join MIC dude. Now we got to delete all these videos prior, man. All this free content is too good, man. We're getting, we're getting people that just show up for these and don't join, man. <laughs> Any other questions, guys? I don't mind answering, but you, you should be careful about my answers. <laughs> <laughs> you may not look, like my answers. Dude, look at this slow there. grind shop, even on OCG. Look at OCGN, dude. It fucking saved VWAP. It reclaimed VWAP, but now it's killing people, too. Bro, bro. This, this, is, this is the type of market we are in, guys. Yep. I told you this afternoon, remember? I think there's a comeback right now, coming right now, guys. Tomorrow, you're going to see a lot of shit gapping up, man. I think we hit the bomb for small caps, and then tomorrow, it's going to catch a lot of short sellers off guard, man, just like me. <laughs> guys because because you have to understand why stuff like this happens in a really slow market everybody is looking and forcing for a trade bow said it best in the beginning of this webinar if you go looking for a trade we guarantee you'll find one whether it's good or not and then they get squeezed they get grinded and the algo takes over dude this is why you get stuff like this is because people are just forcing shorting when they shouldn't it's slow there's nothing to take attention there's nothing else to focus on look even bbig is trying to hint back like <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, dude, I think we, I think we are Look at this. There's a big bounce coming, dude. Look I at this little worm. Coming. This little price action worm right here. Yep. Now, are you saying that because Alex leaves for vacation? <laughs> dude, every time yeah. Alex leaves, like the market gets crazy hot. <laughs> yep. Whatever my reason, man. I think Alex is, Alex is going to leave and the market's going to get crazy tomorrow. Look if, at these Look at all these stocks here. They, they zombied all the way up during this afternoon. Crow, what makes I, I don't know how this is possible, but for, literally for the last three years, dude, of MIC, every time Bao leaves for vacation, he misses the most dead market ever. And then whenever Alex leaves, he misses the hottest market ever. <laughs> oh man, I don't get it, dude. I don't get it. But look at all these stocks going up, man. It's crazy, right? You see it? Everything. Dude, they're all bouncing, dude. This even is what you get out of market, the general markets are up too. Yeah. Any questions, guys? Questions, questions, questions. Hey, me and Bao can end this early if you don't have questions. We're here for you guys, man. We're not here for us. We're here for you. Yep. You let us uh, know. What MIC, you man. Any, okay, here's a good question. Any discuss on MIC? Hit up Tosh, guys. Today only we're going to give some, some deals for you guys, okay? Maybe right we'll here. Be a starter monthly if you're a new member. Maybe um, maybe hundred bucks, man. I want to do that, Tosh. Dude, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll definitely figure something out on the back end, man. I um, I'll, I'll talk to Alex, see what we want to swing this week. I know he wanted to do something uh, extra this week because he is leaving for um, Tulum for a week. So you know, it, I'm telling you, man, we're doing some last minute stuff. So just text my line, guys. We'll talk about it. Whatever you need, whether it's a monthly, whether it's the accelerator course. Uh, whether it's a lifetime membership, obviously you gotta, you gotta get screened first. We gotta see who you are, um, and see if you're a good fit for that. And yeah, I'm, if you have any questions, man, hit my business line for any of that stuff for sure. All right, guys. So we'll end it with a good discount guys. Hit up Tosh, uh, put your number again, Tosh. Let me, let me, uh, put your number again. Okay. Text code Carmen Electra. <laughs> <laughs> Carmen Electra for good discounts. All right, guys. So you're going to end on a positive note. We're going to give you a discount. Just the text Tosh. Definitely, guys. I, trust me, I'm nicer than this photo. I'm just, I, I look intense because I'm, I'm, get, I'm trying to get you guys to invest in yourselves and your education. <laughs> I'm, I'm a nice guy in person. 
No, don't, don't, dude, don't go, don't try to win it back, man. Everything's zombing, bro. I'm trying to be your tap partner right now because Alex is leaving. Right now, dude, everything's fucking straight up to the me. Be careful, bro. Everybody, be careful, man. This is not the time to go looking for trades. It's a very slow market. It's so like very. I said, man, remember, I said, guys, trade uh, stocks. They they move in cycles. So shorts were kicking ass for the past month. Now I think the longs are gonna make a comeback because the stock these stocks have hit like fucking bottom, dude. They, they've been fucking pushed down for a solid month. So I look at all these stocks bouncing from the dead. That, that's definitely what it's feeling like. Just all right, guys. Well, check it out. Before I let you go, we have an after-hours chat. So if you are a member, head in here. We'll talk. We'll have fun. Uh, if, if you still want to see things for the moving for the rest of the day, we got the main trading. I'm telling you guys, we have endless fun content, networking options. Just, dude, come join MIC, man. You're going you're, you're gonna to love it. All right, guys. We'll all right, guys. See you, Bell. Bye. Bye.